Maybe this is decent, the whole who looks out for everyone on Sodor. Whenever she keeps an engine in trouble, Mavis will always be there to help. After Corey, Mavis was shopping cars. Then Ryan came in. Happy Mother's Day, Mavis, he said. Why did you say that? Mavis asked. And you still have mothers? I know, but you're always so kind and give great advice. So you practically act like a mother, said Ryan. Well, thank you. I look out for everyone else on the railway, said Mavis. Hi, Mavis. I'm giving the day off, said the man. Oh, a day off? Said Mavis. How nice. Blow the whistle, it's a brand new day. We can make tracks if you're going my way. Chugging on till we reach our goal. Station to station. Now let's roll! Ooh, the surge is coming on through. On track and on time with a little help from you. We're gonna make it there. Fizzling fireboxes, full steam ahead. We're picking up speed and coming round the bend. Ooh, the surge is coming on through. Mother's Day for Mavis. And to go with your day off, you are to be at Vickers Town Guild's Yards this evening. Will do, sir, said Mavis. Enjoy your day off, said Winston. So, what are you going to do on your day off today? asked Ryan. Just to find any interest that can help. Oh, but who's going to look after the quarry? Oh, I will, said Ryan. I don't have anything else to do. Thanks, Ryan, said Mavis. Then she put it away to enjoy her day off. Down the line, Mavis saw Percy struggling with some cars. Don't let Percy said Mavis, I'll help. Percy knew it was Mavis' day off and then he spoil it. Uh, no thanks Mavis, I got this, said Percy. And he puffed away. Okay then, the Mavis rolled away. Damn, she saw Stanley derailed. Oh, don't worry. I'll look at where I can help you, said Mavis. No thanks, Mavis. I'm good. But Stanley... Don't worry, Mavis. We've got under control, said Haxton. We'll get him back on the tracks, said Rocky. Okay, said Mavis. Then she rolled away. Mavis then found Stephanie tired at Crossfire Junction. Do you need any help? asked Mavis. No thank you, said Stephanie. I got this. We got this, and Michael who pulled up. Then they puffed away. <coughs> Mavis was confused and a little worried. No one needs my help, she said sadly. Why did I get a day off if I can't help anyone? Mavis tried again to find someone to help, but each time they all said that they didn't need her help. Some day of this is, said Mavis. Why can't I help anyone? She watched the other trains pass by, then she realized, Oh my, it's in the evening, I have to get to Rickstown Yards. Then she raced away. Mavis rolled down the line as fast as she could. I had to get there, she said. There was trouble. Oh no, I found out fuel. Then as she slowed to a stop. I have figured out the others were worried and were waiting for Mavis. She's not here yet. All gear is about go. And he moved away. Mavis was stuck on the line when Boko came. Mavis, what are you doing here? asked Boko. I was trying to make it to figure out when I ran out of fuel, she said. Don't worry, I'll look at you during time. Boko followed up and pushed Mavis along the line. I wanted to help others on my day off, but they didn't want me. But Mavis, not true. Everyone wants you to help. Because you're a very famous in Boko. They arrived at Vickers Town. Everyone was pleased to see Mavis. You hear, today is Mother's Day, and so we're celebrating how kind you are to everyone, Sartre. Really? said Mavis. Of course, you deserve it, said Emily. You're always kind of helpful to us, said Thomas. It's the least we can do. Well, I love it. This has been the best day off ever, said Mavis, happily. Oh.